The last thing we'll talk about is what's called conversion marketing. So it's kind of taking, okay, we're going to drive, try to drive all this traffic, whether it's to social media, <laughs> whether it's to our website, but what are we going to do with this? So is there something, and you can think about this from a retail perspective, that when people visit our website, is there something we can offer them to collect their data so we can market to them some more um, or to you know, just drive them into the store? One of the more popular things that's been coming up is what we call a lead magnet. So I'm sure you go to a website and you're on the website, let's say, for a minute or two, and then all of a sudden what you'll see is, okay, something pops up. And a lot of people think they're annoying, but they're actually, if you have the right strategy, they can be very effective to collect more information um, from people. So this you know, might not be the best thing from just a, a, a specific retailer perspective, but if there's something out there you think that people are really looking for uh, when they visit your website that you think, what would be the trait? If I want to collect you know, their name, their email, uh, whatever information you want to collect to help build your, your database up, what could you give them in exchange for that? This was just an example. This is a whole different industry. This is a, a national printer. And you know, people would call them up all the time and say, okay, I need a price quote. So what they want, what we decided to do is you know, put a lead magnet on their site to basically say, okay, well, here's the price list, here's the wholesale price list. And this literally tripled their leads within just a couple of months.